So Ruben Vogt, El Paso County Judge. I'm a proud graduate of Ganotillo High School, um, as is my family. So we are long, long recipients of the great education that comes out of Ganotillo Independent School District. It is extremely surreal. I never expected to, to be sitting um, here today, um, but I'm extremely humbled by the opportunity. Um, I think that we have the opportunity to do some really great things and if nothing more, inspire other people um, with the reality that they too can, can get to a really high position in any organization that they serve in. For me, I think every single person has the opportunity to make some kind of contribution, whether big or small. And, and that's the kind of empowerment that I want to see our young folks have, where they say, you know what, I don't necessarily, um, I want to collaborate with people, I want to bring people together, and I want to be a leader and help create change for whatever part of their life it is that they want to help. And that's, that's always been kind of my big thing. When I was at Canotillo, I was really involved. I was class president in high school. Um, I was a part of the Business Professionals of America. And so it was really just involved in always seeing what it was that we could do to help make our community better. You know, I think back and, and the thing that always motivated me were the teachers. I think back at Mr. Gary Berglund. I'm not sure if folks remember Mr. Berglund or not, but he was our government uh, teacher at the time. You walked into his room and it was plastered with memorabilia of, of politics and government and history. And he would always want to get you to think beyond that classroom setting, beyond Canotillo and the more global world that we live in. And that is something that I always carried with me. Um, and I think of other teachers early on, um, Mr. Smart and others who, when I was struggling, when I first started, like I'd mentioned, uh, Spanish was my first language, so I was the huerito in ESL um, who people looked at me and thought, why is he here? I was very lucky to have that kind of care from the teachers in the district to ensure that I succeeded. Man, they didn't have to take that extra time. I could have just been another student in the classroom either you pass or you fail, but they really took the time to make sure that I was, um, that I could be at, at, at the best of my potential. You, you can go out and make a difference. It can be here, there, or anywhere, but we've given you the tools that are needed for you to be able to do that. So you just have to have trust in yourself to be the leader that you want to be. And so, um, going back to, it doesn't matter where you're at, as long as you make the most of the opportunities that are given to you, and even those opportunities that aren't given to you, you have to seek them out and make them happen for yourself. And so, I want people to, to remember that as they go through school and they're gaining their education. I know a lot of people want to leave and that's okay. If you decide to stay here and go to UTEP, go UTEP a minor, um, making a plug for UTEP. But if you end up leaving, think about coming back because this is the place where you can really make something special happen, not just for yourself, but for your community. And so I look forward to continuing to engage with Ganotu Independent School District. I love our district and I love the work that's being done.